Hello, my name is Yue Peng Zhang. I'm a material scientist at the Applied Materials Division of Argonne National Laboratory. Today I'll be talking about a membrane technology that my team has developed to extract critical man minerals from uh, conventional water. Here we give a few examples of how we use our technologies. Uh, the one example is to extract elements from producer water from hydraulic uh, fractured oil and gas production wells that contain a large variety of continuous uh, such as salt, uh, like chlorine, uh, sulfite, and metals like barium, manganese, iron, and strontium. The composition complexity of the produced water increased the technical challenge um, and operational costs in the water treatment. In addition, the traditional way to inject the water back into the class two wells can generate earthquake events in, the, in that region, uh, which together with uh, water resource scarcity, uh, challenges of certain geographic regions, uh, it would be better to uh, use a different way to treat this water, especially the upground um, water treatment method. The second example is to extract lithium from geosomembranes. Uh, U.S. Uh, uh, has the 10% of the global lithium resources, but most of the commercial lithium production occurs in South America and Asia. There is a strong interest in developing domestic um, lithium production capacity to respond to is, uh, the increasing demand uh, and the market uh, volatility. Uh, there are three U.S. geothermal fuels, East uh, Mesa, uh, Roswald, uh, and the Salton Sea that have shown lithium concentration more than 10 ppm, which is economically viable for lithium mining. Um, the current lithium extraction uh, practices involve time-consuming uh, solar evaporation and costly precipitation and filtration uh, steps to develop something like the membrane technology can improve the efficiency of lithium uh, extraction uh, through the direct lithium extraction technology uh, and also can uh, be more in environmental friendly and energy efficient. The third uh, example is to extract uh, minerals or valuable elements like rare earth element and iridium from the retired battery or electronic waste. And that also generate more value from the uh, recycling plants and uh, the motivation for um, the society to uh, participate in the circular economy. What make our technology special? So um, first of all, our technology is a membrane technology that is more compact than the traditional precipitation method. And we also do not uh, need the uh, regeneration of our membrane because we use a continuous way to uh, extract the element. Uh, in terms of the selectivity, we um, made a special layer on the surface of cation exchange membrane. This layer can help us to selectively extract the elements that we are interested in. And, and um, with the um, cation exchange membrane and electrodialysis process, we can use electric field to continuous move the selected uh, metal elements from the waste water site to the produced water site to form a scalable production of the element extraction. Last but not least, uh, this technology has a specifically designed uh, surface chemistry that can provide very high selectivity of elements. Um, for example, uh, in, term of, in terms of lithium uh, extraction, uh, this technology is, is, is expected to achieve a high lithium versus uh, sodium selectivity of more than 100, uh, which is um, uh, the uh, advantage of this technology as compared to the technologies that are available right now in the, in the market. 
Regarding the advantages of this technology, uh, like I have mentioned earlier, it has a really high selectivity. Uh, this is very uh, helpful, especially when we do the lithium extraction against uh, the source that has the competing monovalent element, which is quite challenging. Um, in addition to this, this technology has a continuous process so that we can uh, generate a high yield and high production rate. Um, the third one is that this technology, uh, when combined with the second continuous membrane uh, electrodialysis process, such as bipolar membrane technology, we can generate a lithium hydroxide end product, which has higher value than the lithium ca carbonate. Uh, that can be more profitable. Last but not least, this technology is compact, modular, and easy to standardize. For any of the existing uh, treatment facility, there is no need to redo the infrastructure, but can incorporate this technology right away. The potential application of this technology comes to three areas. One is a mining, uh, such as lithium mining from geothermal brands and uh, salt lakes. Uh, the second is the waste uh, water valorization, such as uh, valuable mineral collection from the produced water uh, from oil and the gas industry. The third one is the critical element extraction from the wastewater stream, such as retired battery and e-waste uh, in that recycling uh, facility. Again, my name is Yuepeng Zhang. Uh, here is my uh, contact information. We are open to all sorts of collaboration, such as the technology transfer and a joint development. If you have interest, please feel free to uh, contact me using the email shown here. Thank you very much.